Um, can I call you Joel? Of course. Okay. So Joel, um, I was a little bit disappointed with the session earlier. I thought that there could have been more on population and you know human development in general. Let me point out that very beginning I said that in the year 1800 there was one city one city with a million people and then today there are 381 cities with at least a million people and some of them have 20 million people like Mexico City or many of the cities have are have are mega cities and there's no question that if the topic is disasters which is what our topic was we were not asked to do a panel about population. We were not asked to do a panel about the whole future of the planet. Our opening panel was, a, was called Coping with Calamity, the Art of Looking Ahead. It was meant to talk about, I guess, what you'd call, uh, you know, the, 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 the earthquakes, the hurricanes, the tsunamis, the nuclear power plant accidents, uh, the, the kinds of things that could go wrong and kill you know, thousands of people all at once. So I did bring up population at the very beginning, but it is true, the panel did not discuss it. I, I, I agree with you, but we look, at we look at population not only as population growth, as in uh, increasing the number of people within, but we look at it from a more comprehensive approach, such as sexual reproductive health and rights. Let's look at the earthquake in Haiti, where uh, there was an increase in population, and then we look at persons being relocated and being relocated to makeshift camps, and we realize that you know a lot of young girls have been pregnant. You know, with this unsafe water. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of issues that are risk that comes up, and so it affects the health of these young the health of these young people and even adults as well. So we're talking about population. We're looking at population from a more comprehensive approach, and we understand. We understand. You don't mean population in terms of numbers. You mean in terms of a more the, comprehensive the, approach. The, the, the humanity, the living conditions, housing. Yeah. Okay. Education. So, do you see the linkages rights, between them? Right. Right. You know, the, the rights, freedom, uh, ability to uh, control your own destiny. So do you see a linkage between climate change and um, sexual reproductive health and rights or health, population health? Uh, so, you know, I mean, it's all connected. Yeah. It's all connected. How, you know, we're, we're exactly, it's connected to something for, for you to figure out. But I mean, there's no question that when you look at an issue like climate change, it's not just about how much carbon does this person produce or how many resources does this person use. It's also about what is the quality of this person's life and what, what life do we envision for this person? What hope do we have for this person? What, 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 what freedom will this person have well, thank you for that one. as he or she grows older? You have to put it in the context of a changing world, which climate is one of the changing things. Uh, so, you know, uh, when, when you're dealing with, with, based on what you've asked me, is you're dealing with some very big questions. Okay, there, there's no, there's no single answer. To it. But your the panel tonight just did, we did a, yeah. we touched on a few things. We, we could have done much more than we did. Do you think further on would you like to do something about these linkages? I mean, that's what we're trying to question. Do you think that there's enough being done? Yeah. Do you think there's enough being done? There's enough being done right now. Linking both areas, both issues. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not um, I think that you have a couple people here, right there, right there, who are some of the best thinkers of systems, how the whole system works. Uh, you should ask them. Okay, thank you.